Good morning, guys. It's 8.30. Um, I've been snoozing my alarm for an hour. No. going to brush this mess out. I'm not going to do a super good job on it because when I put my hair up in the bun later, I'm going to actually like brush it again. So this is kind of just a rough draft if you will. I use Pronamel. I absolutely love it. And I don't know why I smiled there. That was weird. But just got to brush the choppers. Fresh breath is the best breath. I also use the Quip toothbrush. They send me new brush heads every month and it's only $5. I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for a new toothbrush, get a Quip. Now I'm just putting my hair up in a bun, a little under boob. I like to put my hair up and just this shitty bun just for the sake of doing my makeup and my skincare. I use the vitamin C serum by Tree of Life. It's an all organic, I think, or not just, it's either organic or natural. Anyway, it doesn't have any chemicals or parabens in it, which is super important to me. And I just noticed it helps brighten my face and has really helped me to break out less. And whenever I put it on, I always do an upward motion under my neck to help prevent wrinkles. I saw that from Khloe Kardashian. Now I'm just waiting for it to dry. Next thing I use is the Acure Facial Moisturizer. It has SPF 30 because as Hiram says, there's no point in doing a skincare routine if you don't have SPF. He probably didn't say that word for word, but he said something like that and it stuck with me. So I'm just gonna rub this in. This is kind of weird. It takes a lot to rub it in. I don't know if it's the SPF or just the product itself, but yeah. Now I'm gonna take my beauty blender that's already soaked in water and I'm gonna use the Juice Beauty foundation. I don't normally put on foundation, but I kind of wanted to wear my makeup today because I had an interview and I knew I was gonna be shooting videos. I love this foundation because it doesn't clog my pores, it goes on super well, and it doesn't have any bad ingredients in it. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I just put that under my eyes and wherever I see any little blemishes that I wanna cover. If I don't wear foundation every day, I definitely wear this because no matter how much sleep I get, I always have dark circles under my eyes. So I'm just gonna blot that in. I always have super weird facial expressions when I put on my makeup. Comment below if you can relate because I don't think it's just me. Also, my hair looks so weird. It's doing this little flip out thing and I didn't care enough to fix it. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. That's honestly my motto. I say that a lot throughout the day. Let's just take a moment to appreciate my bathroom lighting super super good there are things i hate about my house like no dishwasher but the sliding almost makes up for it now 
I'm going to contour. And let me just say, I don't do a lot of makeup and I have a lot to learn. But this is like a super basic if you're wondering what I do and you want to follow along. I think it looks good, but I'm by no means a makeup guru. So I just put that on my cheekbones and the top of my forehead kind of just to accentuate my features. I really do like the cocoa contour. It smells like chocolate. I couldn't pass that up. And now I just blot that in. Make sure everything's all good. Because one of my biggest pet peeves is seeing people's contour not blended in. It should not look like streaks on your face. Next, I use the Pixi On The Go Moisture Stick. I use this to just give me that subtle glow and to look a little dewy. I like the dewy look and I just use my fingers and I block that in. Give you guys a little look. Now I use the Blush Balm Liquid Blush. I just started using liquid blush maybe five months ago and I absolutely love it. I got something on my nail and I just got my nails done yesterday. So I'm gonna put this on just on my cheeks right there, not a super lot. I don't know why I looked confused. Now I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna blend that in before using my beauty blender to really make sure it's absorbed into my skin. I'm just gonna use the Nude Mood palette by ColourPop and I'm gonna use this shadow brush and use the Bare to Wear shade and I'm gonna put that all over my eyes. And one great eyeshadow trick is to hold your elbow as high as you can while applying it to really give that kind of fanned out effect. Also, my eyes are different shapes. One is hooded and one is not. So I kind of do it a little different on each side. I think it turned out well. Now I'm gonna use the Cocoa, which is a darker color. So you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna squeeze it like that. And then you're going to put that in your crease. Just blot that on both sides before really going back to the fanning effect that we did by putting your elbow up high. So this is obviously not the final look. I'm going to blend it more. This is a little too dark for me. So once we get the lighter color on there, it's gonna look a lot better than it does right now. that mishap, we're gonna use the Bluffin color. And we're gonna do the same thing. But you don't wanna put your eyebrow all the way up for this since we are just trying to blend this particular color. I'm just gonna move it back and forth like a windshield wiper really want that blended in. I also love ColourPop eyeshadows. I think they're really vibrant and they stay on all day for me. And I don't even use a primer. It 
it wouldn't focus. But <laughs> we're gonna use this type of brush to go with the same color. And we're gonna just blot that in the corner of my eye. I really like this kind of ombre effect with eyeshadow. I like the lighter in the corner. I also have some moisturizer kind of stuck in my hair, but it is what it is. See, I do say that a lot. And I'm gonna put some of that on my brow bow. Is it brow bow or brow bone? Either way, I'm gonna put it under my eyebrow. I think it looks pretty good. It looks blended pretty well. Now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Curling your eyelashes is definitely essential. Literally, even by me just doing this without the mascara, it's already gonna look different and better. See, already looks better. This is also a longer video, by the way. I really wanted to do it kind of real time for you guys. My mascara, I use the Full and Soft by Maybelline. Again, I'm probably gonna make a weird face. I was really, really proud of myself for not getting any mascara on top of my eyeshadow because I normally always do that. And I think it looks pretty good. Just gonna kind of touch up on the other side. Perfect. Now I'm gonna put some on my bottom lashes. And it kind of smudged already, which is fine. You can just go in with your nail and kind of, yeah, see, I got mad. You can just kind of go with your nail and try to get that excess off, or you can take a little makeup remover with a Q-tip and that'll work too. This is also my first Get Ready With Me video. So if you have any suggestions for me, feel free to let me know. Now I'm gonna use the Anastasia brow gel and the matching brow pencil which was really overpriced in my opinion eyebrows are such a key factor for me i don't take a lot of time on them but really just kind of filling them in ever so slightly to kind of just give them that extra pop and that extra tint of color really makes a huge difference in my opinion We're just gonna try and do the other side and remember that eyebrows are not twins they are sisters my eyebrows definitely have a different shape they are not the same so the way you do them isn't gonna be the same either last thing is a Vaseline I just put that on I absolutely love this I use this multiple times a day especially in the cold because when the heat's cranked up, your skin tends to get a lot drier. So here's the finished look. And we are not done with my hair. First things first, I wanna take down the messy bun. So I'm gonna take the brush, like I said before, and I'm gonna brush it out to really make sure it's brushed out. 
I'm going to put some water on the brush, which just helps forming the bun. My hair is naturally straight. I do not straighten my hair. I don't treat my hair. I literally go to sleep with it wet and I wake up, brush it, and this is what it looks like. Next thing, I'm going to use this Evolve brush. It's perfect for just making your hair a lot smoother. There is no product on my hair yet, no hairspray, no gel, and we're just going to put this in kind of a low pony. You don't want it super high because it could be out of regs. So a low pony is a good way to go. And I just do that. I don't really tighten it because whenever I tend to tighten the ponytail, it messes up the front of my hair. So for this look today, I'm just gonna get the second hair tie. I wetted my hands before. And you're just gonna brush into your ponytail. Then you're gonna wrap that really tight, just twist around, twist around, twist it around, and then you're gonna wrap it around itself. And then you're gonna secure that with the second hair tie. And then you're gonna take some bobby pins. I do not use a ton. I literally use one to secure the bun and the other two just for the little flyaways on the side of my head. Next, we use the Aussie Sun Touched Shine Spray Hairspray. Whew, that was a lot to say. Just spray that on your hair and you're gonna take the Evolve brush again and then just smooth that into your hair. It really helps with the flyaways and makes makes sure you don't have any frizz. Like I said, I absolutely swear by this brush. And that's the final look. Now I'm gonna use my Love Beauty and Planet deodorant. I stopped using traditional deodorant probably a year ago. I only use this kind. I hate regular deodorant with a ton of chemicals and aluminum. So because we are still half teleworking, I haven't really been in my uniform lately, so it's actually at the office. So right now I'm just gonna put on some bummy clothes and I'm gonna change when I get there. Now that I'm all dressed, my super sexy getup. I'm gonna head downstairs, make some breakfast, bring it to go. Oh God, and we'll be off.
late as I can because I really like sleep. Two important things I forgot. My Apple Watch and my Hydro Flask. All right, it looks like we are ready to go, finally. Like I said, my mornings are always super hectic. I've never just had like a morning where I remember everything. Okay. I told you guys, I look bummy right now because I'm gonna change when I get to work and I honestly don't care. just going to wait here for a minute wait for this freezing car to heat up it's like 36 outside I think so it's a little brisk <laughs> I'm originally from Florida so I'm not super used to this anyway I'm just gonna wait for this to heat up plug in the ox and we'll be on our way It's time for me to get to work, so I will see you guys later. I promise I'm being careful and I'm looking at the road, but I wanted to show you guys that I'm driving on the left. I am stationed in England. I'm going to make a video about that really soon. But yeah, it's definitely weird. I have an American drive car, so driving on the left side of the road with an American drive car is pretty weird and I hope that I remember everything when I get back to America. That's all.